Hi everyone, just me again. Um, I've been posting some photographs of how to do my beautiful scallop starter with some wonderful polenta palms and discs, some charred cucumber, some dehydrated tomato and a wonderful grapefruit burbank. I'm at the stage now where I'm going to make the, the grapefruit burbank. So what I'm going to do is I've reduced that down now to it's quite syrupy, it's quite thick. As you can see it's got a lovely reduction going on there in the pan. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some double cream. So I'm just going to add some nice cream into that third line to get it going. And there we go. Just keep the heat on guys. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some nice knobs of butter into the sauce and that will thicken the sauce up to the consistency that we want. There we go. Just keeping that sauce thickening, colouring just nicely and we're now nearly ready to cook our garnish. Right, so my sauce is made. That's the beautiful grapefruit de blanc. Sauce the dish. We're now going to cook the parmesan polenta pieces to garnish our, our plate. So I'm going to start there with three nice pieces of polenta. For this guys you must use a, a non-stick pan. Um, the polenta could potentially really stick to the bottom. We don't want that. We just want a really nice colour on the polenta. So as that's cooking what I'm going to do is I'm taking my cucumber and I'm just going to place that in the same pan. And what I want from my cucumber is it to be really charred, nice and dark. The darker the better. You want to see some really nice black charred cucumber. Get that lovely smoky flavour into the cucumber. Okay, that's the plenty of parmesan garnish. Nicely coloured, nicely crisped up. Wonderful flavour in there. So what I'm going to do to that is I'm going to give it a little bit of season. A soak of sea salt. I'm also going to season up my other garnish. A bit of sea salt. That's my charred cucumber and my dehydrated tomatoes that we talked about earlier. Thank you. Okay then, so it's time for the, the main event for this dish, which is some beautiful local northeast scallops. I'm just going to get, try and get as much caramelization and as much colour on one side. And there we go. There's my three beautiful scallops going in. I'm giving three pieces of nice scallop for a portion for this dish. And they're going to start cooking really nicely in that hot oil. Right, so they've been cooking now for about 60 seconds on one side. Got some really nice colour on there as you can see. Some really nice caramelisation going on there. I'm going to turn them over guys. Really quickly to cook. I'm going to get some butter into my pan. I'm going to start basting these beautiful scallops. You see guys, they cook so quickly. We don't want to overcook them. We just want to cook them really quickly in that pan. We'll get them seasoned up and then we we'll let them rest for a, for a short while. So, getting that lovely butter over there. That's what we want. We want to baste these beautiful scallops. There we go, and give some lovely flavour. There we go. Okay then, it's time to start plating up this wonderful scallop starter. So to start with, I'm just going to plate on the plate the polenta Parmesan shapes, which we've made. Place them like so onto the plate. There we go. In between these goes the wonderful pan fried scallops that we've just cooked. Absolutely perfectly cooked. Absolutely perfect. Just make sure they're all symmetrical, looking good. Next to go in is the wonderful charred cucumber. There we 
go, a beautiful cucumber there. It's got that lovely smoky flavour. There we go. Got next in is the wonderful pink grapefruit. There we go, the beautiful pink grapefruit. There we go. That's that wonderful citrus flavour. Let's go with the smokiness and the parmesan cheese. Um, on that, we're just going to stand the dehydrated tomato that we cooked in the oven for about 35 minutes, 70 degrees. So that's nice and crispy. And that's just going to sit there really nicely in between there. So there we go. And to finish this dish off, I've got some wonderful Thai basil which I'm just going to rest against the tomato on top of the grapefruit. And then we're ready to sauce our, our starter. Um, so there we go. Sauce is ready. This is the grapefruit juice bird long. Um, basically a nice reduction of grapefruit juice. So it's a nice syrup. Adding in some double cream and then whisking in our butter to thicken the sauce. And what we've got is a really, really nice, thick, citrusy, beautifully flavoured, buttery sauce that will complement this dish perfect. So we're just going to sauce that now in the middle. There we go. And there you go. My Pancered scallops, parmesan polenta, pink grapefruit, charred cucumbers, and dehydrated tomato discs with Thai basil. And there you go. So there we have it, the finished dish. A wonderful starter. I've got 20 of these to do on Saturday evening, and I hope they come out as well as that one. Enjoy.